I'm in love with a man I've never met. Virtual relationships. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Breanne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do share with you my perspective on different topics. Well, 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 what am I talking about today? I'm in love with a man I've never met, except through the virtual world. Is it possible to fall in love through the virtual world, having never met the person? Well, 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 I'm not sure what grandma would say, or I am kind of sure what grandma would say, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I imagine that grandma would probably think, mm, I don't know about that. And, you know, so this is the thing. One day I was talking to a woman and she said, I'm in love and I'm going to get married. And I said, oh, you are, where did, does he live here? She says, oh no, he lives somewhere else. I said, oh, okay. She said, well, I've never met him in person. I said, what do you mean? She said, well, I've never met him. I've never met him, but we've been virtual friends for about two years now. And we've developed this bond and this relationship. And I'm not sure whether they FaceTimed each other, talked on the phone. I'm really not certain about that aspect of it. But it really got me to thinking, can you fall in love with somebody that you've never met in person? Well, anything is possible. And I think that there are people that have, I guess, fallen in love prior to meeting each other. And yet we hear about all the scams and the cons out there on the internet where people are being scammed especially like a lot of older people are being scammed into believing that they're in love with somebody who's truly not the person that they think that person is. We've seen all those talk shows ab about that. And yet, is it possible to truly fall in love with a legitimate person on the other end of the computer or the phone or, the, or whatever that you've never met? I think it's possible. And yet, I think that... Often when we meet a person in person, in reality, we get a totally different perspective. It may be better or it may be not so better um, than how we see them virtually. The virtual world is a real world, okay, with real people. But first of all, we want to make sure that they're really who they say they are and not some buddy who's put somebody else's photo up and pretending to be what they're not. Number two, if they truly are that person, um, how will we feel once we're with them over time in person? And I think that that is the is it litmus test where you kind of test something to see its accuracy, something like that. I think that that would be really accurate. I think people can get to really know people online. I've made many friendships. My friendships are real online, whether I ever meet them in person or not. And yet, when you take it to that whole next level of romance and getting married, I think it's very important to have that in-person time together. Um, that's just my personal, uh, personal belief, that it's important to have that time together so that you can truly get to know each other from that angle as well as the virtual world. Even if, you know, we have concentrated getting to know each other through the internet, which the internet can be a wonderful way to get to know people and build relationships. But if it's going to progress to something like marriage, where there's commitment and finances and a person truly giving to each other, I think it's really important to spend time with each other in person in addition to the virtual to get to know each other. I know a lot of people that were brought together through the virtual world and they're very, very happy together. And yet those people that I know that have done that also spent an equal amount of time in some way to get to know each other in a in-person sense before they actually made that full commitment. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.